welcome everybody, the people that are at home and the people that are here. If you're here, uh, we're going to, before we begin, ask you if you have a cell phone, if you could put that on airplane mode or do something, um, but uh, do not connect the Wi-Fi here. So uh, thank you for that. And here we go. I'll start with uh, Morning. a little power. One power invisible. Can't you see it everywhere and every day? It's one power indescribable. And you speak of it with every word you say. Mysterious until you know. Spirit, call it Jesus, call it Lord, call it Buddha, Mahula, angels' wings, or heaven's door. But whatever name you give it, it's all one power. Can't you see? It's the power of the love in you and me. One power. Different clothing, different colors, and different names. Different, different is only dangerous. dangerous when we forget that in our hearts we're all the same. We'll remember when we close our eyes to see such distances were never meant. It's your mind, it's your soul, or it's your sign. It's a universe, it's music, Mother Earth, or Father Time. But whatever name you give it, it's all one power, can't you see? Whatever name you give it, it's a very air we breathe. It's a power of the love. It's an everlasting peace. It's the freedom of forgiveness. It's the sweetness of release. It's the joy of inspiration. It's the sunshine on your face. It's the birthright of all nations. It's the boundlessness of space. It's the beauty of a baby. The serenity of sleep. 
be abandoned For it's love that loves the sea. sea It's one power Are we ready to start in and welcome everybody here, those who are present, those who are at home on their couch, you know, or maybe you're in your bed still, who knows, and you're having coffee with us. We're grateful that you're here, however you choose to be here. Um, it's a very special day, and we're blessed to be here. At New Thought Unity. At New Thought Unity Center, yes. So and good morning. That's right, and we're so blessed to have Kim Blue. Amen. Thank you, Kim. Be here as our speaker today, yeah. and of course, our wonderful music. And leader. all the musicians. Look at all the musicians, and look who's back. We got yeah, Jenny Burkett. Jenny! First time back since we closed, so it's a beautiful day all around, and we're so glad that you're here. Should we start with a congregational song and have everyone sing well, along, or should we I do think something? we should do our affirmation. Let's do our affirmation. What is that? And our affirmation for today is... I am worthy, I am perfect, I am the face of God. Would you repeat that with me? I, I am, am worthy, I am perfect, I am the, the face, face of God. God. And as we do our morning prayer, we'd like to just have you sit back and relax and get ready for this awesome service and close your eyes as we say, Father, Mother, God. Thank you for this beautiful, beautiful day you've blessed us with. The rain is here for a purpose, and we appreciate it. We appreciate all that is done on this earthly plane for us. So we know that you are anointing this service, and all is well. And so it is. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right. Are we ready to claim our blessings? Yes, we are. All right. Hey, if you're here in the room, I invite you to stand up and sing along with us as we claim our blessings for today. Before I even lift my head, I claim a blessing. I claim a blessing. I claim a blessing. This is how I start the day. That's how we start the day. Knowing good is Sing it with on us. the way. Feel the good. I am claiming, claiming it. perfect health. Claim it too. Yeah. Friends and wealth. In the morning, morning when I get out of bed, I claim a blessing. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Claim yeah. I claim a blessing. I claim a blessing. Before I even lift my head, I claim a blessing. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I claim a blessing. I claim a blessing. That's right. And the power yeah. of the spoken word. I feel it. Yeah. Take my life. Please redefine me. Redefine. Yeah. Yeah. Break, Break those shackles, shackles of our minds. Of our Sing mind. it with us. Here we Woo. go. In the morning when I get out of bed, I claim a blessing. Put your hands together. Yeah, yeah, I claim yeah. a blessing. Woo. I claim a blessing. Before I even lift my head, I claim a blessing. Yeah, yeah, I claim yeah, yeah. a blessing. Yeah, yeah, I claim a blessing. Yeah. I'm claiming my blessing. 
blessings right here and right now. You should do the same and you'll find out how. Why it's so good to give thanks to the Lord above. We're gonna tell you right now. I live my thoughts to the higher ground. No miracles are all around. Each day unfolds just as it should. When I'm focusing on the good. Life is filled with opportunity. I wonder what good is coming to me. Yeah. Say it. I claim a blessing. Yeah, yeah, I claim yeah. it. Sing that with us. I claim a blessing. Are you claiming it? I claim a blessing. I claim it. Yeah. I claim a blessing. Yeah, I claim it. Keep singing it. I claim a blessing. I claim it. Yeah. I claim a blessing. I claim it. I claim a blessing. Well work. Yep. Ooh. And you know what? I what? claim mine every day. Right. It's my last name. <laughs> Gene Blessing. So. Yeah. So this is normally where we greet each other and hug and shake. So if you would just turn to someone near you yes, in your home Jean. or in the sanctuary. We're not Namaste. doing any hugging Namaste. and shaking. Do some virtual hugs. Today. Kim. Mm -hmm. um, Namaste. Namaste. Peace. Kind of blessings Virtual to all hugs. of you. <laughs> We're so glad you're here. It's wonderful yes. to see all of you here and all of you at home as well. Yeah. So today, we're a little short on monitors up here because you see we have these lovely new TV screens and they didn't, they didn't check. They didn't hook us up to the monitors, so I'm going to come out here and read our mission and vision statement, if you all would read them with me. Our mission statement, in, in God, God, we, we are, are an inclusive, inclusive abundant community, community experiencing love, transforming lives, and, and serving, serving others. others. And our vision statement, we, we celebrate, celebrate a world of oneness. A place, a place of loving stewardship, sacred connections, and, and pure joy, where all are welcomed with honor and respect. And breathe that in, and so it is. All right. Oh, but just 
that's right. I want you to feel that love. Yeah. For everyone. What yeah. the world what needs now yeah. is love, sweet love. So please be seated. Of course, what the you world take needs your now is now. Uh, a few announcements. Yeah. Of course, because we are a congregation that's living and thriving. Yes, we are. Here at New Thought Unity. And David's not here, so how are you going to do this? You going to act it out? You're just going to speak it. Hey, I want to see that in your little short dress now. Come on, work it out. I know. Alice thought I looked like a mosaic uh, there you go. Piece of art. So I'm just going to be a piece of art. There you go. And of course, Althea is also a piece of art right now. And yes. we're going to yes. share. Yes. yes. So, a Sufi celebration of divine love, August 5th, from 6 30 to 8. Ancient News, which David Kaiser is a part of, will again celebrate Sufi divine love with poetry, prayer, song, meditation, and movement. Okay, let's see a little move. All right, now. <laughs> Thank you. Spiritual Cinema will be starting back up on July the 10th, which is a, a, is a Friday. It's the second Friday of every month from now on until something else might happen and we're not claiming anything, right? Risen is the movie that we'll see. Doors will open at 6.30 and the movie starts promptly at 7. Bring your own drink and popcorn will be provided. provided, provided, provided yes, provided. a lot of friendship here at... <laughs> New Thought Unity, because we also have karaoke with our one and only DJ Kim Baloo. Yay. It's coming Friday. July 3rd, right? 7 p.m. and continuing every first Friday of the month. So come with your courage, your talent, your just your ambition to sing something you've always wanted to sing, Kim. That's right. And, of course, in the Miracles Group meets Thursday evening at 7 o'clock, uh, 6.30 on Zoom. Course in Miracles, 6.30 on Zoom. The group is facilitated by Susan Bartels in the back. Let's hear it for Susan. Thank you, Susan. Yes. If you wish to join, you can call the center and talk with her. And, of course, next door, the Angel Wings resale shop. Angel Wings is looking for volunteers to work any shift, but especially on Saturday and Sunday afternoons. If you're interested in volunteering, see Linda Miller or email secretary at ntunity.org board nominations this is what we want you to give some serious thought to nominations are now being accepted for two board positions if interested talk to Peggy Wyan or fill out an ap application on the New Thought Unity Center website so please give that consideration we do need you to be of service in more ways than you ever thought you could thank you that's right and of course we are streaming live Facebook and also the YouTube channel, check it out. Uh, so we're open to have people come in wearing their masks, being safe, socially distant, but we also are continuing to stream. So check that out, uh, on Facebook for new NTUC Live. Yes, yes. And it's now time for our meditation. So if you will sit back and go to your heart space and listen to what spirit is saying to you, know that you are the face of God. Know that God holds each and every one of us with love and rocks us in the cradle of love. You are the face of God. You are the face of God. I hold you in my heart. I hold you You're a part of me. You are the face of God. You are the face of God. You are the face of God. Just, just go a little bit deeper. And 
just imagine I hold yourself you being rocked. My heart. Rocked in God's cradle of love. You are a part of me. You are a part of me. You are the face of God. You are the face of God. You are the face of God. Feel God's peace. I hold you in Feel God's love. Take a deep breath, inhaling God's love, God's peace, and just imagine, imagine yourself sitting on a cloud this morning, a soft cloud with your name on it. Ha <laughs> ha, what a surprise. God is full of surprises. And just sit there and allow the rays from the sun, rays from the sun to just cover you from the top of your crown to the tips of your toes. And listen to what spirit has to say to you. It's your own personal message as you sit there, peacefully, happily, calmly, being filled with health and wholeness, being filled with new energy, new love, new excitement, and new, new ways to be one with the one on your own personal cloud. Ah, thank you, Father, Mother, God, for this opportunity to sit in the heavens on my own personal cloud and allow you to energize us individually and collectively, allow you to have your way with us on this cloud. Peace, be still. We're smiling. We're smiling from the inside out. Nothing can disturb our peace on our cloud. We are the face of God in the silence. So as you prepare to step down off your cloud and come back to your seat, take that energy and that peace and that love that you felt there with you and carry it with you all throughout the day. Take a deep breath. Let go and let God. Prepare to open your eyes and watch the face of God appearing on the TV monitor. I'm going to show you the hand signals. You are the face of God. I hold you in my heart. I hold you in my heart. You are a part of me. Yes, you're a part of me. You are the face of God. You are the face of God. You are the face. face. 
watching till we see our beloved buzz these are all just pieces ideas of the face of God every one of them I want you to look at that and see the face of God and there it is yes Spit on. 
God said a powerful story I used to carry around Thought it was you all this time Held my spirit down Thank you to everyone on the stage with me, everyone here, everyone out there. Um, yeah, I'm just going to breathe in that song, powerful song, right? And uh, it's probably the third or fourth time I've shared it here in the last year. And uh, I'm just going to keep on sharing it because it feels so relevant right now. And I don't know if you noticed, we have the pride flag here. Does anybody know what this is? Yeah. Yeah. What is this? This is the flag for transgender people. So, um, and also, I've ordered a Black Lives Matter flag, which is on back order, but that, that would be hanging right here as well. And so today, I talk about you are the face of God, no exceptions. And we have this vision and this mission that says, you are welcome here. Whoever you are, whatever you are, wherever you are on your journey, you are welcome here. And I, for one, am ready to take that to the next level. Who's with me? Yeah. yeah. And so the next level for me is, there's the pride flag, there's the trans flag, the Black Lives Matter, all of it. All of it. I want to stand in that as a community, as a person, as I walk out this door, I want to be that. And so what that means is for me, looking at myself and looking at all the ways maybe I carry my own judgments and my own biases so that I can unlock an even greater opening in my heart so that I can see everyone as the face of God. Did you see all those faces of God that showed up on the screen? Yeah. Did you see George Floyd? He was at the very beginning. Trayvon Martin. You know who Trayvon Martin is? How about Matthew Shepard? Anybody know who Matthew Shepard is? All of these people were killed because of who they were. 
either the color of their skin, their sexual orientation, their gender, and I, for one, want to be the change. I want to step out and say, we are an inclusive, abundant community, and I will live that. I won't be afraid to put the pride flag right there, or the trans flag, or the Black Lives Matter. Who's with me? Yeah. It's a new day. It's a new era. And so I just want to talk about my own personal experiences because that's all I have are my experiences and my sharing. And so some of the things that come up for me during this, it's, it's quite epic times, right? We're in a pandemic. We have the Black Lives Matter. And guess what? Today marks 50 years ago for the first Pride Parade. So we've got a lot of things going on that give us opportunities to reevaluate. I'm ready to reevaluate, and I'm asking you to reevaluate with me. I've had a lot of conversations in the last few weeks with friends where I get to learn and uncover some of my own biases. Even if I could say to you, I love everyone, I can still uncover more ways that I can go deeper with that love. Are you willing to look at the ways that you can look at yourself and your own biases so that you can go deeper to that inclusivity? So that when we step out of these doors and we go to live our lives and we see someone that looks different from us, we can challenge ourselves to see what we're feeling underneath that and why so that we can heal. That's what I want to do. And so some of the things that have come up for me as I was thinking about this, you are the face of God, are some of the, the statements that I've heard, either as someone who came out, I came out 20 years ago, um, and how that, the reaction to that, and some of the statements I've heard right now, some of the things I've seen on social media about the Black Lives Matter movement. Well, that was so long ago. Why is it relevant now? It's one statement. Well, I didn't do that, so I don't need to be responsible for the pain that is being suffered. Well, they didn't do anything to me. So really, they've been really nice to me, so I really can't say anything about it. Any of that sound familiar? It does to me. And though I'll never, ever know what it feels like to live as a black person in this country or in this world, what I can do is sit and listen and hear that pain and be present and evaluate myself. And I can also share with you something that I can relate to so some of the things that happened for me is, many of you know my story. If you're on my Facebook, you probably know my story. Um, and so I had this severe sex abuse as a child growing up. I was sex trafficked. And so one of the things that I keep thinking about is, I don't want anyone else to ever have to be sex trafficked to be my ally. Do you get that? I want you to be my ally. I want you to learn what it is that triggers me, where my pain is, so that you can stand better with me. Does that make sense? This is what our black brothers and sisters are asking for as well. You don't have to understand to be an ally, to be a person who wants to know more. How can I help you heal more? Some of the things that I heard when I brought that abuse out in my very own spiritual community were, well, he never did anything to me. He's a really nice guy, so we don't want to get involved. I hear some of that sentiment right now. I don't understand. Or how about 
But Kim, it was so long ago. Why do you have to talk about it now? Right? I'm asking us to look at why we want to deflect all the time. What is it that comes up within you that is so uncomfortable that you would rather deflect because that's what those statements are to me. That's denying someone else's pain because it's too hard for me to stand with. I'm asking us to stand with each other's pain now so that we can heal. Can you do that? See, one of the things is there's some unity principles. Who knows these unity principles? So there's a couple that I, you know, I was going through them, and uh, here's the second unity principle right here. What does it say? Humans have a spark of divinity within them, the Christ spirit within. Their very essence is of God, and therefore they are inherently good. Who's left out of that? Who's not included in that? Another thing I heard when I came out was, well, I support gay people and I support trans people. I just don't want to see it. <laughs> this is about all of it. I know you, think, you might think that these are all separate issues. It's all one issue. It's humanity. Are you ready to look at why you don't want to see it, if that's your statement? Are you ready to look at why that feels like a separate issue from your life? When to me, we are all one human race. It's never a separate issue. If a piece of that race, human race, is being oppressed, being victimized. There's another unity principle. Number five, knowing and understanding the laws of life is not enough. A person must also live the truth that they know. What that speaks to me is I can come here and I can connect with all of you who I know think somewhat like I do, maybe not 100%, but it's how do I live this when I go out into the world? How do I live when I'm sitting at my computer and I'm typing up something, or I'm reading the news, or I'm interacting with someone at the store or in traffic? Is there another slide? Did I give you something else? There it is. Loving these truths means we show up in all activities of our lives with the consciousness that what we do and the way we behave matters. Can you read that with me? Let's read that together. Living these truths means we show up in all activities of our lives with a consciousness that what we do and the way we behave matters. Just take that in for a second. It's beyond these rooms. It's a habit. And the habit has to also include for me looking at when some of those things come up for me, when I'm outside these doors and I have some of those blocks that come up, I have to be willing to look at what's underneath that in order to heal. I want to live these unity principles at a deeper level. I want these flags, the Black Lives Matter, I want them to be right out there in the front so everyone knows that they are welcome here. But more importantly, when they walk through the door, they feel that. It's a safe and sacred space for people to come and for us to really stand in our mission and our vision. Are you ready to stand and be a part of that movement? The time is now. There really is nowhere else to go except backwards. So I'm inviting you to join me in that. To think about it. To go as deep as you can. I 
I see the face of God in every person in this room. But I have to admit, there are times when it's hard for me. Right? And when it's hard for me, that's when I need to look deeper. Be willing to listen. Would you sit down with me and listen to my story so that you could be a better ally? Would you sit down with Althea and listen to her story? Would you be able to hold space and say, I just want to know? It's where it begins, but it's not where it ends. Because then we put feet on that and we take action in some way. That's my invitation. You are the face of God, no exceptions. There is not one person in any corner of the world that is left out of that. I'm ready. Are you? So I'm going to move over to the piano real quick. And uh, normally, I do this song with a different story behind it. But this is the story I'm going to share right now. Normally, I share, you know, my own journey of learning to play Imagine. But today, I'm playing Imagine as the story of all of us who have felt like we've fallen down, we've made choices that we weren't proud of, and we're ready to imagine a new way of being. Ready to imagine a new way of being here at New Thought, a new way of being in our own lives, with the people that we interact with, a new way of living when we step outside these doors. And so I ask you to take a deep breath and I want you, as you listen to the song, to imagine reevaluating what kind of world do you want to live in? What do you want to bring to that? How far are you willing to go to see the face of God? So imagine with us. Imagine all Imagine all the people living life in peace. You, you may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope. Someday you join us And the world will live as one 
magic dough possessions I wonder if you can No need for greed or hunger Or brotherhood Imagine all Kim Blue. Yeah. Thank you. So can you imagine that with me, with us? The face of God. Conversations. Listening. Taking this, the pride flag, the trans flag, the Black Lives Matter, Investigate. You didn't know, if you didn't know what this was, I invite you to investigate more about it. If you don't know anything about pride, investigate. You don't know much about Black Lives Matter, ask. It's time for us to open our eyes, look at each other, have the conversations, listen, and put feet to these unity principles to the face of God, to why we're showing up here together in community. Are you ready to imagine that with me? That's my invitation to you, not just this week, but beyond. Reach out and ask somebody. Listen. You are the face of God. No. Thank you, Kim. And so the song that we're going to share with you now is about, it was written about pride, but there are lines within this um, song that are about all of humanity, and we're all together, and it's called Same Love, and this is the same love that I want us to carry for every single person that we see and that we meet. Yeah. Let's go. When I was in the third grade, I thought that I was gay because I could draw. My uncle was and I kept my room straight. I told my mom, tears rushing down my face. She's like, Kim, you've loved girls since before pre-K. Tripping. Yeah, I guess she had a point, didn't she? Bunch of stereotypes all in my head. I remember doing the math, like, yeah, I'm good at Little League. A preconceived idea of what it all meant for those that like the same sex. Have the characteristics. The right-wing conservatives think it's a decision. And you could be cured with some treatment and religion. Man-made rewiring of a predisposition playing God. Oh no, here we go. America the brave still feels that we don't know. And God loves all his children, but some have forgotten. But we paraphrase a book written 3,500 years ago. I don't know. I can't change. Even if I try. Even if I wanted to. Even if I wanted to. And I can't change. Even if I try. 
gay I would think hip-hop hates me have you read the YouTube comments lately man that's gay gets dropped on a daily we become so numb to what we're saying a culture founded from oppression we don't have acceptance for them call each other faggots behind the keys of a message board or we're rooted in hate yet our genre still ignores it gay is synonymous with the lesser same hate that calls wars from religion Gender, skin color, the complexion of your pigment The same fight that led people to walkouts and suit and human rights for everybody There is no difference, live on and be yourself When I was in church, they taught me something else If you preach hate at the service, there's words on anointed And the holy water that you soak in is in poison When everybody else is more comfortable Remaining voiceless rather than fighting for humans That have had their rights stolen I might be the same, it's not important No freedom till we're equal I'm right, I support it. Yeah. That's right. Human rights for everybody. Yeah. Come on. Here we go. And I can't change, even if I try, even if I wanted to. My love, my love, my love, she keeps me warm. She keeps me warm. Progress march on. With the veil of our eyes, we turn our back on the calls until the day that my uncles can be united by law. Yeah. Kids are walking around the hallway, plagued by so much pain in their heart. So I'd rather die than to be who they are. A certificate on paper isn't gonna solve it all. It's a darn good place to start. Yeah. No law is gonna change us. We have to change us. Whatever God you believe in, we came from the same one. Strip away the fear. Underneath it's all the same love. About time that we raised up. Come on. Are you ready to raise up? Yeah. With us? Yeah. And walk? Yeah. With that love. And I can't change, even if I try, even if I wanted to. My love, my love, my love, she keeps me Thank you for coming out on this rain-filled morning. God is cleansing the atmosphere, watering the plants, filling the lakes, the streams, and the ponds, doing what God does. He might even be, he or she might even be crying. Who knows? But it's now that time in our service where we take our tithes and offering in our hands. And They're not going to pass a basket though, right? There, there's no a place in the back passing. there. You can drop it in, a, in the back if you're using an envelope. And the machine is back there also if you prefer to use the electronic giving. Or you can push the button and go to New Thought Unity Center's home page. And this is our offertory prayer. You ready? Divine, Divine love moving, moving in and through me blesses and, and multiplies all that I give and, and all, all that, that I receive. receive. So thank you, Father, Mother, God, for blessing these tithes and offerings, for blessing the givers and the receivers of the gift and the work that it does. We know that we are prosperous, not only here at New Thought Unity Center, but everyone on this planet is prosperous, whether they realize it or not. So thank you, and so it is. And so it is.
Also, yeah. it's this time in our service where we ask you if you have a prayer request. You could call Susan and send it in to her. And there is a couple of chair prayer chaplains here today that if you have something you want to pray about, if you want to celebrate something through prayer, that they will make themselves available to you also. So thank God for prayer and prayer chaplains and prayer warriors all over the world. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you so Amen. much. Amen. And thank you for tuning in, for being here, for listening with open hearts. I could feel you. And uh, we almost made it an all music Sunday, didn't we? <laughs> Whenever I'm on the platform, that's sort of how it goes. And I want to um, give a special thanks to Kim Ballou because we met probably, I don't know, 15, 16, 17 years ago. And she has definitely helped my journey on growing and broadening my awareness of who I am, who she is, where my prejudices were, weren't. And I just want to say thanks, Kim. You are so brave and so courageous. Oh. Oh. Well, thank you. <laughs> she thank writes you. her own stuff. <laughs> she, she did the rap thing early on, and now she's singing out more on her own, playing piano. I mean, you just are an inspiration to many people, and you go out, and you put the feet on the face of God, and you step out, and you do it. You know I why do. she can do that, though? Why? Because she knows who she is. She knows, she who, knows she is. who she is? Yeah. Yes. And, and she loves herself. Thank you. Well, yes. I'm still learning, but thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. And thank you. And I'm just so grateful to be here and uh, with you guys. So even though we're not going to hold hands, I invite you to stand. And we'll do our prayer for protection together as we all put feet together. Here we go. The light, light, light of God, God surrounds, surrounds me. me. The, the love of God enfolds me. The, the power of God protects me. The, the presence of God watches over me. Wherever I am, God, God is and all is well. like David's right here in the sanctuary with us. Yeah. 
Tacos. Woo! In the morning when I get out of bed, I claim a blessing. Yeah. Woo! I claim a blessing. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before I even lift my head, I claim a blessing. Yeah. Woo! I claim a blessing. I claim a blessing. What are we doing? I lift my head night and day because I know God is gonna lead the way. I'm happy now, and so are you, and Kim's gonna tell you just what to do. I live my thoughts to the higher ground, no miracles are all around. Each day unfolds just as it should, when I'm focusing on the good. Life is filled with opportunity, I wonder what good is coming to me, yeah. Woo! I claim a blessing, yeah, yeah, yeah. I claim yeah, yeah. It. Claim a blessing. Claim a blessing. I claim.